In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a speed ramp transition in After Effects without using any plugins. You'll need videos, of course, so I've got mine from pexels.com. And as you can see, the frame rate is 24 frames per second. So let's create a new composition based on that. I'm going to select 24 frames per second and then click OK. Drag the videos to the timeline and hide the top one for now. Then right click on the bottom video, go to time and select enable time remapping. Then go forward to 8 seconds and create a keyframe for time remap. Then go to 1 second and drag that keyframe back to 1 second. And that will really speed up the clip. So what we've done here, we've compressed 8 seconds worth of video to 1 second. That naturally translates to speeding up a video. Then go to 1 second and press Ctrl Shift D to split the layer and remove the remaining part. Let's make the top video visible again and right click on it, go to time and select enable time remapping again. And do the same thing, go to 8 seconds, create a keyframe at 8 seconds and drag the keyframe back to 1 second. But do not trim the remaining part because we need something to continue playing after the transition. Just align the start of the video to 1 second so we have a transition from one video to the other. Then select the first video keyframes, go to the graph editor. And if your graph does not look like this, make sure you right click and you are in edit speed graph. Then select the left point and drag the handle to the bottom. Make sure to hold shift so it snaps into place. And for this point, make it lean to the right all the way by dragging it to the right. Let's exit the graph editor and select second video keyframes. Go back to the graph editor. And this time select the right point and drag the handle to the bottom. And align it to the straight line down here. And make the other point lean to the left all the way by dragging it to the left. Then exit the graph editor and preview our transition. And just like that, we've been able to create a really dynamic transition. As you can see, it starts slow, then gradually speeds up into a transition and then slows back down. But one thing the transition is missing is motion blur. One way to fix that could be to add motion blur effects. Go to effects and presets and search for CC force motion blur. And first we need to create an adjustment layer. So right click, new adjustment layer, and then drag CC force motion blur to the adjustment layer. Then in effect control, set the shadow angle to 360 and motion blur samples to 16. That will improve the quality of the motion blur. Let's preview this with motion blur applied. And straight off the bat, you can see the difference that motion blur has done to this transition. It has made this transition much more dynamic by adding an artificial layer of motion blur. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. If you like this transition and learned something new, please give this video a like. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.